welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Today's video, I already went grocery shopping. It was extremely windy and raining all day today, so sorry I'm looking a little rough, but I wanted to share a grocery haul. I ran to Dollar Tree, Walmart, Publix, and uh, what was the other? Five Below, where was the other one? Home Goods. Um, they just recently opened up a home goods over by me. I just thought I'd like take a peek in there. They didn't have too much Halloween decor. That's kind of why I wanted to go like everywhere. I wanted to see if anywhere had Halloween stuff out yet. I know Dollar Tree does big lots and I think that's it. Um, Walmart has like a little bit. I thought I would share my little haul. I'm trying to eat healthier. I just recently came across this app that you can scan the barcodes of your food and it tells you if it's good or bad and what is in it like ingredients wise and all that i'll show you i am absolutely obsessed it is i don't know if you'll be able to see it it's that little carrot it's called yuca this but one? all you have to do is take your item, whatever it is, it can be food you can scan and um, cosmetics. You can't do supplements or vitamins. You can only do cosmetics and food and like liquids and stuff like that. But, or like juices. What you do is you take the app, you open it to the barcode scanning and then you take the barcode and you scan it and it tells you this is 75 out of 100. It's like decent for you so all you have to do is move that up and it shows you all the ingredients on the inside and you can keep scrolling like you can open everything up and it just shows you it is amazing it has changed my life i absolutely love it as soon as i found this it was actually because of a tiktoker they were sharing the app so i have fell in love i told my sisters about it I told the cashier at Publix about it. I don't know if I'm gonna share the previous um, grocery haul that I did, but the um, Publix worker, the cashier, she was. we were just making small talk and she was wondering why I have so many green beans because I literally will get eight bags of frozen green beans. And I just say it's for the dogs because um, it is. It's like their treats and I mix it in with their food. I have three golden retrievers. So um, I just use that for their food, but she was telling me that she has to watch what she eats and she has to cook for her husband because he has cancer. So there's certain things that he needs. He needs more potassium in his diet. So she's having a hard time. And I shared that app with her because I'm absolutely obsessed. All you have to do is scan that item, the barcode. It'll show you how good it is for you and the ingredients, like everything that's in it. So I just shared that and she was like so thankful. She wrote down, she was like, I'm gonna download it after um, her shift but it's free. Like I'm not getting promoted for this. I'm just sharing. Cause I, once I find like good deals or good products or things that change in my life, I like to share it cause it could change your life. Um, but I gave it to my sisters. I literally, when I downloaded that app, I went through my whole two fridges. I have one in my garage, one in my um, kitchen. And then I went through my pantry. I was like scanning everything and just throwing it away. I was like, I cannot believe how bad half this stuff is for my you. garbage after using that app. And I'm still working on this. I have to get rid of a lot of that. A lot of that. Still working on it. But my fridge is looking a little bit better. It's a little more organized. Lots of greens and healthier snacks. I'm still not done um, filling everything up, but these are really good for you too. The little um, tuna in a pouch I got a ton of them I am NOT the type to like look at labels so that was another thing I kind of just like thought it was good for you so I just picked it up and ate it or drank it or whatever this haul I did scan a lot of this stuff there are probably one or two things that I can't give up like apparently Gatorade is really bad for you and I did not know that so um, I still get a thing of Gatorade and I'll drink it here and there because I like some sort of different like I have a juice a celery juice that I did pick up and I'll share that but I am obsessed with Gatorade. I love Gatorade. I don't drink it like a lot. I, I'll just drink it like when I crave it, if that makes sense. But I'll start with Publix. I didn't get a whole lot, so I'll start with Publix. I love getting my meat from Publix. So I just got a whole bunch of ground beef because I like to put it in individual Ziploc baggies. And this will be for like burritos one night. This will be for um, meatloaf. This will be for shepherd's pie. Like I just divide it up. Um, 
I also buy individual packaging. Um, I have two of them, but they were kind of running out. These I love, um, even though they're so bad for you, I love energy drinks. So these are actually not bad for you at all. I scan them on the app and I'll show it right in front of you. So this, here's the barcode and you're scanning it. It's upside down. Did I scan it? No. Hang on, struggle bus. And my hair's attached to it. There we go. Oh, okay. So I scanned it. Sparkling Kiwi Guava Fitness Drink. So it is actually a 90 out of 100. And I could not believe that when I scanned that. I've never seen like an energy drink or a pre-workout drink that's actually good for you. So I stocked up, I got those. I'm obsessed and they taste really good. This stuff I'm obsessed with. I used to love juicing, but I'm kind of lazy and I wait too long and a lot of my stuff goes bad, like my celery and stuff that I get. So this is a better option from the store. This was a 90 out of 100. Um, it's just the celery juice. and I like to mix it with this, this coconut water. It is amazing. And yes, I scanned this too, this is good. I think this was like a 75 out of 100, but this is really good. I'll do half and half. This is actually really bad for you. This is a three out of a hundred. This was not good at all. I tried to scan every Caesar dressing that was in the store and all of them were like zero out of a hundred. This was the only one that was like three out of a hundred. So it's not that good for you, but I'm obsessed with Caesar dressing. So it's so hard for me to give up Caesar dressing. So I got some of this because at my sister's house, when I helped her move, um, her fiance went to the store and got a whole thing of um, like those pre-made packets of Caesar salad and then got Caesar, the dressing, mixed it all in and they got, they got a bowl, which they already had, but I bought one because I thought that was such a good idea, like a deep bowl. I don't have one of these, which is weird, but I got a deep bowl to make a huge thing of salad to pick through the whole week. Um, I also want to have it for dinner tonight, but I just got a lemon pepper rotisserie from Publix. I'm obsessed with these. They're so good. But I got one of those. I'm going to shred it into pieces and then put the Caesar mix in here, the Caesar salad mix, and then put the shredded chicken in and the dressing. So it's one big Caesar salad. But I thought that was such a good idea. And it's a quick, healthy, er, like a healthy-ish um, dinner idea. It's quick, easy, and kind of healthy for you. But I saw these also. These are supposed to be really good for you. They're soups. They had so many different ones, but I was curious. I go past these all the time at Publix. So I thought I would give it a try, just creamy soup. Who knows if it's gonna be good, but I'm really interested. And they actually didn't have any good looking Caesar, pre-made Caesar packets. Um, they, I scanned them all, they were all like really bad for you. And then the ones that I did scan that were kind of decent for you, they were like pink and like rotted looking. So I just got a huge thing of spring mix. I'm just gonna make my own salad. I'm gonna put all this in the bowl. Um, I also have some spinach I might sprinkle in. So I got a thing of that. And I got carrots as my dog's treats because I don't want to, and they could be my snack throughout the week with peanut butter, they're really good but I don't wanna give my dogs actual treats. I'm trying to lean towards like um, green beans, carrots, and ice, and they love these, so. And I look like a crazy woman scanning all my products like as I'm going through the store, but I really don't care. I take my time. I think I was in the store for like two hours maybe. I don't even know, an hour and a half, but I'm obsessed with that app. I also got more vitamins. I got probiotic for your stomach, your digestive. I got milk thistle. It's good for your um, liver. And then I also got zinc. I love vitamins. I have like so many that I take, so I just wanna stay healthy. I also got these. I scanned them, they were pretty good for you. These are chocolate fudge Greek yogurt bars. Um, they, I got them in sea salt and like chocolate fudge. These were really good. I think they were a 75 or a 90 out of 100. So good ice cream snack if you're craving ice cream. I got those. 
now on to Walmart. It's Walmart. funny because I went to um, Home Goods and I was looking at their Halloween pillows. Oh my gosh, I wanted so many of them, but I am not paying $25 to $30 for one pillow. That is ridiculous. Um, just me, I'm weird. But um, Walmart had Halloween pillows already out and they are so cute. This is only $6. Look at how cute that is, and it's silky, or like suede. And this is literally what I was seeing at Home Goods. Like the pillows look just like this, and they were $30. And they're at Walmart for like five, or $5.94. This is so cute. Just a little throw. I actually got two of the same. There's another one. I'm obsessed. And then I also found, they had same price. A little ghost pillow, so cute. Sorry about that, I had to make something to eat because I was starving. I ended up making that salad that my sister did at her house. I made it myself, I didn't get the pre-made Caesar packets. I just got um, two packets, I'll show you. The spring mix and the spinach from Publix and I just mixed a whole bunch in here. I mixed um, Parmesan cheese, um, Caesar dressing and I ripped apart that rotisserie that I got from Publix and it's just a chicken Caesar salad, so good. And I, and I can pick throughout the week the salad, so I'm so excited. Um, back to Walmart, I got three the pillow or three of the pillows that I already showed you, and then they they had this pillow too. It's so cute, just a little pumpkin to go with the ghost. So adorable. And like I said, they were only like five dollars. It was like five ninety seven or four, so it was like six dollars. And then I got healthy snack. I got popcorn, cheddar popcorn, really good for you. Scanned it with that app. I'm either going to add the video that I saw on TikTok here, or I'm going to link the girl's name below. I don't know which one yet, so when I edit it, you'll figure it out. But um, I'm following this girl on TikTok and she does like fitness videos and she came up with some low calorie, cheap but good for you um, meal ideas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I have a whole bunch more of these. Um, I already bought like a ton of them but I kept having to throw them away because I was too lazy. Long story, but I threw some of them away so I just thought I'd buy more. They're just the um, meal prep containers. So I want to do those. Like I said, I'll probably share the video either like right after this, the clip of what I saw. It's a quick little clip, but it'll show um, the different meals that she made. They're just three meals and they're really quick and easy. But I thought I would give them a try and um, I bought all the ingredients that she mentioned in those videos. But if it has music, which I think it does, I don't know if I can share it on here because I might get copyright. So I might have to just link her or show like what her um, video link looks like or I don't know, but you'll figure that out after this. Snack ideas that are good for you. And I scan them with the app. These are really good, these little puffs. Um, they were made out of chickpeas, I believe. Four grams of protein, three grams of fiber. Yep, organic chickpea snacks. Um, they're really good, I got four bags of them because I'm obsessed. I think they're like $3 a bag, but they're kind of small in my opinion, but they're really good. So I bought four bags. I don't know where the other bag is. I bought, um, someone in my family is very sick. Her whole family is, and I feel incredibly bad. I really wish she was close because then I could stop by and like drop off some stuff for her. I just hate when anybody I know is like sick or under the weather or whatever. It just scares me and I just wish I could help, um, but I am like an hour away. I don't know, I just feel so bad, but um, with everything that's going around, I also like rarely leave my house. I only leave the house on the weekends, so I just want to keep stuff here just in case I happen to get sick. I wanna prevent it or like already have stuff here. Um, but I bought cough drops. I'm not sick. I have like the stomach flu, like when I, recorded my last video. I'm feeling so much better now, but just in case I get sick, I like to hold a whole bunch of like cold and flu stuff or whatever in my cabinet. And I'll show you that maybe if I can remember. Um, I got cough drops. I got some Advil. I got Dayquil, NyQuil. 
I got more Midol and I've got, I like BC powder, but they were out. So I got goodies powder. I'm sure it's the same thing, but it's just pretty much crushed up aspirin. Um, I love those if I'm having extremely bad headaches. That works quick. It's like instant. Um, it's not like these, it takes a little while, but that's just, it works so much quicker. I love that. And I also, I love Walmart's eyelashes. It's um, Kiss number 11 eyelashes. I'm obsessed. I've raved about these forever. That's all I use. Um, but I'll, sh uh, I'll show you toward the end when I put stuff away, because my camera's kind of like really hanging by a thread, so I don't want to touch it. But I also got, shockingly, I scanned these and on the app, it says that these are 90 out of 100. Like they're decent for you. They're not like, well actually they're good, 90 out of 100. Um, but these Healthy Choice Simply Steamers, chicken and veggie stir fry. So I got four of these. I'm obsessed. Anytime I'm feeling like kind of lazy and don't wanna like make food on like my lunch break or whatever, I have these. And I cannot believe these are 90 out of 100. Like they're good for you. So I stocked up and got a lot. These weren't that great for you. Um, the girl recommended this in her video to go with the um, fajitas, the pre-made meals fajitas. So I got chicken and the steak is better for you. So the steak was in the green. I think it was like 60 out of 100. These were kind of low. I think they were like 40 out of 100 or something like that. I also forgot, these are the green beans, the frozen ones that I get from Publix. I forgot to share these, but I get eight bags because these are for my goldens. I put it as like treats, sprinkle it on top of their food. I got the taco mix. This is actually not good for you, but I can't give up taco mix. I'm sorry. I love this in my ground turkey or beef. Um, I'm obsessed, so it just adds flavor. Um, this quinoa brown rice. Um, this actually was recommended by that girl on TikTok. It was one of the meal ideas, so I bought four of them, four packs. I'm probably gonna pre-make meals um, here. I'm kind of running out of time today. I might do them like next weekend, I'm thinking. But I got another packet of taco seasoning. I'm probably gonna record that as well, the um, pre-making my meals, because it might take a while. I'm making a ton of them. And I'm gonna do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So there's three different meals that I can eat like throughout the day. I also got these. Um, they're not the greatest for you, but if you only eat like two, they're not that bad. So. It's been a while since I found an item that was like 100 out of 100, but these eggs were actually 100 out of 100 on that app. I scanned them, just these brown eggs. I grabbed another. I also got these, I don't know how good they are, um, Nature's Bakery Brownies. They're double chocolate, real dates, and cocoa, and whole greens. So I don't know how good they are, but it's a little snack idea for when I have a sweet tooth. Um, these were actually rated really good on that app, so that's why I picked them up. And dates are like good for you, so I thought I'd try them. Back to snacks. Um, this was the fourth bag that I bought. Um, for a snack, I actually got already peeled um, pistachios. I love pistachios and really good snacks. I use Irish Spring Soap and I did scan this with the app, really good for you. Um, but I literally am so weird. I love that app so much. And it's so fun to see what products are good or bad for you. Um, but I got a whole bunch of these. Oh, I've been using my diffuser for work. I totally forgot I had that. I was going through that whole room and I was organizing it, putting stuff away, and then I found my diffuser and all my oils. Apparently I was out of like everything. So I repurchased some lemon drops and peppermint. Um, that way it's supposed to like wake you up and like make you more alert for work. So I'm gonna use these a lot for um, work in my diffuser. I cannot wait. I love essential oils. Um, I also got, this is not good for you, but I cannot find good cheese that's good for you at Walmart. So I got this, that's all I could find. I like to sprinkle some on top of um, meatloaf or shepherd's pie, but everything else lately, I've not been using cheese. I'll just use like um, Parmesan cheese. I won't use like shredded because I can't find anything that's good. Um, turkey sausage, this is really good for you. I scanned it and it's part of the meal prep plan. So that meal prep, I'm going to cook these. But I'm gonna freeze them for now so that they don't go bad. Because I might make that next weekend. 
This is actually not good for you, but it was part of her meal plan, that girl on TikTok. So I want to follow it. I just want to go with what she has. Um, she didn't add a lot of eggs, but I just thought I'd add that. It just, um, but I could have used my eggs, but anyways. I got, this is actually good. I did not know sour cream is good for you, but I get the light sour cream from Walmart. And I put this on everything, I love it. But the app, it's not that bad for you. Um, I also scanned um, roasted garlic Alfredo sauce is good for you. It was in the green, so I got that. Because the ones that I have are not good for you. This stuff um, was part of that meal prep plan as well. Grab two of those because I'm going to make a ton of this stuff. And I also scanned it. This was, I believe, 80 or 90 out of 100. Really good. Sorry if I bore you or annoy you with my whole app thing. I'm obsessed with that app. Like, so, so obsessed. I'm just trying to be as healthy as possible because I don't want anything like processed or bad. And if I do, it'll be like the slightest thing. Like my taco seasoning. It's the only thing, like a little sprinkle on top of meat. Like it's not gonna be anything crazy. At least it's not all of my food is processed and crap. And it's all from Walmart or Publix. But I got four can or jars of that Alfredo sauce. I got a lot of it. And I am, I'm not sure if you've noticed, I am five years old. I absolutely love stuff from my childhood that like brings back memories. Um, me and my sisters, I have three other sisters, we all had a humongous toy box and it like overflowed with toys. Um, cars, like Hot Wheel cars, Happy Meal toys, uh, Barbie dolls, we literally had everything. I was so incredibly thankful to have the childhood that I had. Um, but we had so many brat dolls, like brat Barbie dolls. Everyone's gonna make fun of me, but we had a million of them. And I guess they, like we had a whole bunch, but my dad, as we got older, we kind of grew out of them. So my dad bagged all of the Brat dolls. We had a car, everything. He wrapped them all up, put them in a box or whatever, and gave them to one of his coworkers at his work. And he gave it to her, his uh, girls. So I am kind of sad that I gave away all my stuff like from my childhood. So I feel like I'm trying to buy it again and then put it in my hutch as like a memory. And then once I have kids, I'm gonna pass it down and like show them. I don't know, it's really weird. I have some weird issues, but I saw that they have brat dolls at Walmart. And apparently I saw on TikTok that they are like trying to take them off the shelves. I don't know if they got like banned, like I haven't seen them in years, but I found the last one today on the shelf and I bought it. I cannot believe like, it is the cutest thing ever. Like, brat dolls were my favorite. I was more of a tomboy. I loved um, race cars, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, I was the biggest tomboy ever. But when it came to Barbies, there was something about brat dolls. They just looked so different. Like, they looked so cool. Like, their makeup and, like, just their look. Like, they were just so cool. I was obsessed. So, anytime that I can find a brat doll, I will buy it but these are the different ones at the bottom. But I don't know why, they're just like getting rid of all the Brat dolls. I'm obsessed, she's adorable. I'm not gonna take her out of the packaging. Like any of my kids, if they like dolls, I'm gonna try to pass this down because it just brings back so many memories. It's just so cool. But one of these days, I will share my hutch. I have to organize it and clean it because I've been hoarding and like throwing stuff in there. So one of these videos, I might organize it and like show you guys how geeky I am, but I literally, anything from my childhood that brings back memories, like Care Bears, uh, Pokemon, anything, I will buy it and put it in the hutch. Like, I'm that obsessed. So I thought I'd share. I also got, because the um, TikToker's recipe asked for it, I got broccoli, and I also scanned it, good for you, obviously. There's some frozen fruits and veggies you need to scan because some of them have a lot of processed stuff in it, so you need to be careful. It's shocking how much, like the, um, the steamed veggies, those apparently aren't very good because they have a lot of processed stuff in them, but just these are really good. I just got this. I also got shredded hash browns. Um, the recipe asked for that as well, so I added that to my heart. She also added on one of the meals butternut squash and sweet potatoes. And I got two bags of all of them. Um, so I'm so excited to try that out. And then also, I got this. 
fruit salad blend. It has all this in it, and I love snacking throughout the day, so I feel like this would be so good. Just get a, a whole um, cup of it, let it thaw out, and just start eating it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. So I just got a whole bag of that. And then the last thing is that steak. The steak is actually better for you than the chicken. So I'm gonna put in the um, fajita bowls that she's like saying for, I think it was dinner or lunch, I don't remember, but you can add more steak than chicken. But my battery is dying, so let me show you my vitamins really quick. This is my pantry, it's not organized, it's kind of messy, but that's where everything is vitamins headache stuff on that side flu and all that i'm trying to stay organized i have to go through all this it's just such I wanted a mess. to share i also went to the dollar tree and i found these they're like made out of plastic but they have little dog prints on them there you go um i like these for their food and water bowl because i've been using mats from the dollar tree and they just don't do it they keep getting soaked so i think these plastic will the plastic will be awesome and work so I'm gonna use that for them. And then also, Dollar Tree had their pumpkins out, so I bought two of the white pumpkins. They're just simple, cute little white pumpkins. I also, I bought their orange pumpkins, and I keep it in my front door area, so cute. I also got from the Dollar Tree, I've already had this huge like vase thing. Don't ask me where I got it, I have no idea. But I have it jam packed with like cool little characters from the Dollar Tree. I keep picking up new ones every time I go. So I did find they had Jurassic Park, little dinos. I got those. They had him. So cute. They had a little Barbie. They had Woody. I don't know if it's focusing on any of these. There you go. They had um, Monsters, Inc. I wish they had the little girl. They didn't. She's so cute. But I got him and him. And then the rest I already had. Um, let me see. Like they have like Ren and Stimpy, Superman, Nickelodeon. I literally have a ton. I have Pluto, just so cute. Like I said, I am five years old. And they kind of, they remind me of the Happy Meal toys that we used to get in like Happy Meals growing up. So I got like the cutest things. And I was thinking I could always make a Disney or like character theme um, Christmas tree <laughs> in my house. So that's why I'm like stocking up and I got a ton. I also forgot to add really quick. These toys, they're for full hair so ignore that. These three I got from the Dollar Tree. They are super good quality. They're all squeakers. And I'm obsessed. My dogs love these. I normally go to PetSmart and get them these to kind of toys. So I was shocked to find them at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. These, they're really dirty. Um, I used to use this. I put it in Aria's bowl, like for her food. So it would slow her down when she tries to eat because she was eating way too quick. But this is how old that is when she was a puppy. And then this one, same thing. But these I got from PetSmart or Petco, whatever it was. Sorry, my dirty counter. I literally got those from PetSmart or Petco. They were five to $10 each. Like I can't remember the price. I know they're at least five or and up, um, but those are the same as these. Like same exact quality, and only a dollar. And then the last thing I went to um, Home Goods because there was a new one that just opened up by me. And I've been eyeballing these little baskets from Target and they are only in gold and black, the colors, and they're like $35 a piece. Like they're kind of pricey. So I went to Home Goods today and for one alone, this cute little basket, for one it was $15, like $14.99. So I bought two. I'm gonna use it for all my like blankets around the house like that are thrown over my couch, like my two couches. I'm also gonna throw like 
holiday pillows in here that I'm not using. I'll just put it in like the corner of my house and like just throw blankets and pillows that I don't need in these baskets. I just think they are so cute. And I cannot believe they had them for only $14.99. Like I'm not kidding, I almost bought it from Target, one of them, and it wasn't even like the color I wanted. Like my theme in my house is kind of like gold, or it's silver and whites and grays. So the black and the gold wouldn't really go, so I would have had to spray paint it. So I found these, I might take off, like I think you could just pop those off, but I think I might take those off because they don't really match, but it's not a big deal. I love these. Like I'm so obsessed, I cannot wait to use them. But yeah, that is it for my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed, sorry it was so long, but I am trying to be healthier. I love eating healthy foods um, on a budget, like it wasn't that expensive. I did buy a lot of stuff because I love snacking and I'm just trying to try out different meal ideas. So meal prepping, I'm gonna try any and all meal preps that I come across on like TikTok or YouTube. I'll always try something out once because you never know if you're gonna like it. And if it's cheap and easy, it's for me and it's healthy for you. I'll probably post a video of me making the meal preps when I do. I think I'm gonna save it for next weekend though because I'm running out of time. But I am gonna share that video and maybe it'll help somebody else out. But We got more Chewies, if it'll focus. Okay, so the Chewy box came. We got eight and one bites, multifunctional. You can read, like you can pause it or screenshot. It, um, hip and joint, heart health, skin health, liver health performance. Like this multifunctional is the best. Dang, I'm so mad. I thought I ordered, cause they have an 180 count for $52. And I thought that's what I selected. Dang it, I knew this looked small. I'll just have to get more. Oh well. But there's that. I thought I got the biggest one, but I guess I didn't. I only got the 50 count. But the multifunctional, that is the best. I love giving this to my dogs. And then also I give them probiotic bites. And this is good for um, gut function, immune function, six probiotics, including, I can't read any of that, but this is good too. I just give it all to them. So they are nice and healthy. Then we got, Ooh. oh my goodness, I gotta wait, 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 wait. Look before the dogs go in it. Oh my gosh, I gotta hurry. Look at this box. It is chock full. Oh my gosh. They gave me another one. Oh my God, was that for free? I didn't order that, I don't think. Wow, they gave me another one. I'll have to look that up. Oh, they gave me four. Wait, there is no way. Let me check. Did I seriously purchase four? An idiot, like late at night, I need to not order stuff. Two, I did. Dang it. So instead of ordering the um, huge 120 pack, I bought two of the same thing. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. But that I ordered this late at night, I was so tired. So I guess I got four of them, which is perfect. I wanted extra. We got some squeaky bells. We got more of um, Jada's food and Paisley's food because I'm already stocked up on Aria's. I got a big toy with dinosaurs. There's a volcano. They love these puzzle ones. It drives them insane but it's a volcano and it has a ton of dinosaurs in it and this is a little like puzzle oh my god they love these they go nuts i should have bought two of these but they have squeaky balls in them and then this is for jada because she's teething so i just want to give her something that she can chew on so they're just like little keys but i'll show you Jada is only six months old right now, and this is like the best. There's a couple on the market, but this is one of the best um, puppy foods, like the puppy formula. And I love getting it from Chewy. It is kind of pricey. I think this is around $80, I could be wrong. Like somewhere 60 or 80, something like that. 
but I had to get her more. I have a backup. And then Paisley, she's on a prescription food because she had stones a long time ago. So I have to have her on this urinary care. Um, and that is like $83. So they're pretty pricey, but it's worth it. That's why, because this is stripped. Like this doesn't have any nutrients in it. It just helps her like not get stones again. So that's why I try to give her as much as I can. I bought carrots for snacks. They get green beans. Like I'm trying to be as like healthy as possible for them. Like we're gonna start playing with some toys. I know that's what you want. Want some toys? And don't mind my appearance. This is my um, nighttime outfit because I'm ready for bed. I'm so tired and I'm really pale. I don't have self tanner on. I'm gonna show you, they have the best toys ever, but I wanna show you, here, let me turn on the light, there you go. I wanna show you this before it gets destroyed because I'm obsessed. It's a volcano and inside are little dinosaurs. These are gonna be destroyed in like two seconds, but these are so cute. I've been eyeballing this forever and I finally caved and got it. Oh my God, there's so many in there. I don't know if you can see it, oh my gosh. So cute. So there's three in there. Let me see if they're all detached. Oh no, there's more. There's three in my hand. And then there's three more. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh! Look at how cute. So you put the dinosaurs back in here. I wanna keep one. Gotta take all this out. Look at how adorable. They're gonna go nuts. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Look, Paisley's obsessed. She loves those. Oh, you got one dino out. You got one dino out. Look, you got the dino. Good job. Good job. They love this. Look at, you got a little dino. Good job. Good job. We got so many more toys. Here, there's more. Here you go, Papa. Here you go. I just have a million of these. Sorry, I don't have anything else exciting. That's it. That's it. That's it. Here you go. Here, you want one? Kata. She just wants all of them. Here you go. And the rest, is, that's it. That's all. This place is a mess. Dog mom life. That's it. Good girl. That's it, that's all I got, silly. I will give them this. I almost got so bummed that I didn't buy more of this, but I'm so glad I accidentally bought two packs of them each. And they are so cute. They're shaped as little hearts. I don't know if you could see. I love these. I had a friend tell me that they um, purchased some for their puppy too. I love these. Paisley. One treat? Where you at, Jada? Jada, one treat. Sit. All these beautiful goldens. Good girl. Yeah. That's it. Sorry, my obnoxious dog voice. But yeah, that's about I'm it. I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.